All right, man. Uh, let's talk about some more free agent spotlight 2021 offseason for Detroit Lions. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon like, um, button, share the video with your boy. And don't forget to check out my other channel, my main channel, Goodfellow Sports TV, for more sports, music, news, entertainment. And Leonard Fournette had a revelation last year after a previous year um, having, uh, you know, three sacks. Rookie year, seven sacks in 16. Second year, 17, two sacks, 18, five sacks with the Giants. I mean, with the Jets. And then he switched over to New York Giants. His first year, he played 15. He played 16 snaps all uh, his four years with the Jets. Moved to the Giants, same stadium. Played one less game with 15 snaps. Um, he started 12 games there, 749 snaps. Um, he had a half sack, 46 tackles. Um you go to this year, since uh, uh, Joe Judge got there, 16 games played, 11 games started, 800 sacks. That's nowhere near his high. Um, every year in New York with the Jets, he played more snaps than that. Um, he had 11 and a half sacks, 57 to- uh, seven total tackles, 29 solo, 28 assisted tackles. So he had 11 and a half sacks playing defensive end. I'm guessing they probably playing more of a 3-4 of a hybrid over there. But he's a guy that you can stick in the middle of a defense. At the three technique, he can get some pressure. And he's only 26 years old, by the way. I don't know if he turned 27 this year, but um, they're saying his market value is uh, probably five years, 56 million, 11.2 average uh, a year. Um, so they average. Trey Flowers, Cloney, Jadavion Cloney, Flank Clark, Eric Armstead together, I guess, when they was 28 years old, right around 26. But um, but honestly, I think it's a guy. Honestly, I think this is a guy that uh that I would take a I would take a if they playing more of a three or four or four three, this is a guy I probably would take a flyer on. Um he I mean he seemed like he might it might have clicked for him. He disruptive. Um, I'm trying to find him on my thing. Tw- he's 27 years old. I mean, he must just turn 27. He he's a guy that I think you tab. He's still young. Not sure if you're looking for three, four, five year contract, but you can put him at the three technique or at the end the three, four, and he could be disruptive. Younger than JJ Watt, still kind of in his prime. Um, you're looking for somebody in the middle of the defense that can get some pressure where Deshaun Hand didn't really show up last year. He's your guy. He instantly upgrades what you need. Um, he he gets you pressure, kind of make you kind of alleviate the pain from leaving Sue Young. Uh, and we were I, I would first guy I would call with him would be him. Um, other than him, compared to him, who in the market? Um, Kellan Short. He older. Um, pretty much, he's the only guy in the market that's like him that I see. Tyrone Crawford can play a little bit on the inside. But uh, he's 32, so to be honest, he's one of a kind. He is one of a kind on the market, and uh, that that would take away if I if they was one guy they was going to get out there defensively, it would be him for me, you know. And then you able to draft another guy that can help him out if you can find a guy that's disruptive and can play the run next to him. You could put Deshaun Hand and Panisi behind them. You got a you got a you got an all star interior lineman. And that's kind of where you want to start at. Then you find your edge rusher. If you keep Trey Flowers and keep Romeo, your D line is already upgraded. If you don't keep neither one of them, you're just building for the next year. So um, I like both of them. Uh, I like him. Um, I do like Romeo. But um, Leonard Fournette is the guy. Leonard Fournette, excuse me. Leonard Williams is the guy I go after. Young. Um, can can really push the pocket. Can play some in. Uh, he would have been great for uh May Patricia system. But yeah, and in the draft, I look to find me somebody that can, that can do like him, do the same thing, stop the run, or get after get after the passer and um, produce some pressure. You know, the type of guy I'm looking for, man. But um, if they was going to spend some money on on the market, it'd be him, in my opinion. I'd be going after him. But hey, let me know what you guys think about Leonard Williams. Came out of UFC years ago, 27 years old. I think you could put him in the inside. He could he could do some things. Interior lineman. He can do some out here, outside line. He can do some things, in my opinion, too, man. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Uh, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Check out Draft Spotlight playlist for more videos like this. Don't forget, social media links in the description. Twitter's the fast way, Facebook and Instagram. Want to make a donation, cash out in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk. We gone.